Citadel of Temptation. The Citadel that took approximately four months and went through several major changes. With several creators working on the floors, you know there's going to be some history behind this. Let's examine the past of the first Citadel and ZTOA, shall we? Let's start at the beginning. It was September 3rd, 2020. The Citadel's name was leaked yesterday, and now was the time to make the place. This was actually going to be made by Z and Var only. That wasn't until it reached 4.3 when Ryakree 7 was added into the collaboration, in which he decided to revamp Var's floor. The Citadel was actually supposed to be challenging, but everyone who played the Citadel said it was intense or even remorseless. Eventually, the difficulty was now moved up to low intense. During the making of the Citadel, Potato joined the collaboration since the de development was slowing down. This was three and a half months into the making of the Citadel. Coded and Veg had to help out with the Citadel too. On January 23rd, 2021, Z made an announcement saying that COT only had a few more unfinished floors left. However, due to the lack of motivation from the people participating in the collab, it won't be finished by the time Ring 1 releases. Sure enough, two days later, the game was out, but Cot wasn't done yet. Eventually, the next day, Z finished up 4.11, which was supposed to be done by Ryakri, and a sneak peek was given out. 4.12 was actually going to be a pitch black floor with a neon spinner, but was changed to a rainbow floor. However, the script to make the walls change color caused them to be different colors, while still alternating. That was quickly fixed. Um, Veg also decided to change 4.2 entirely, meaning that was the second time that specific floor was revamped. Since Barr was the original creator of that floor, it was decided that he wouldn't be a part of the credits, although he's still visible at the corner of the wind room. Finally, on February 4th, 2021, the last floor was finally finished, and bug test was ongoing. The next day, the Citadel was finally open to everyone. Issues arise, however. 4 5 was very jank and there was a potential soft lock on floors 2 and 5. They were fixed later on, but the biggest problem, to me, was the difficulty consistency. The most challenging floors of the whole Citadel included Coded's very long and tedious 4-8. Z and Rai's low ceiling part in 411, and Potato's difficult purest 412. The punishing nature of the Citadel added on to the difficulty too. With all of these factors, people were wondering if the Citadel was high intense or even somewhere within remorseless territory. However, that has yet to be decided, since the change hasn't been made yet, despite people agreeing that it is indeed remorseless. For now, it will stay as intense until further notice. That's all there is to the Citadel. There's just not enough information about it to continue on. There might be some quick facts about it, such as the first 4 song being changed 4 times, or the fact that 4-6 utilizes a very interesting lantern mechanic that hasn't been seen before. But overall, that's about all there is to the Citadel. If there's more information about the Citadel, please tell me about it in the comments or in my DMs. For the first Citadel of the game though, it's actually alright. Nothing too good, but nothing that's very bad, with the exception of a couple parts. The history is definitely sort of bland, but that's okay. The, the final episode of the Ring 1 Towers will make up for it. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.